Hey, my dudes, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. I got some gameplay of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I only died twice somehow. And I have commentary about my nostalgia for Adult Swim. Like my memories, how I got into it, how it changed my life, and how much I just appreciate it even to this day. Man, um, Adult Swim. So I was eight years old. Eight years old, second grade. And I was sitting in front of the TV eating dinner. It was probably SpaghettiOs. And I was late. I was up late, later, like way later than I usually am. And I saw home movies or home videos. I forget what it was called. I think it was called Home Movies. Uh, about a kid that wanted to be a director and stuff like that. And the animation was Ed and Eddie kind of style. Really, really cool. But even cr more crude than um, Ed and Eddie. So... I'm sitting there and I'm, you know, just eating my dinner. And I think Dexter's Laboratory was on or something, maybe Powerpuff Girls. And then all of a sudden, this just popped up on the TV. Check it out. Parents strongly caution the following programs are intended for mature audiences over the age of 18. These programs may contain some material that many parents would not find suitable for children. Oh, the mom's coming, bro. Huh? The mom's coming. Oh. Coarse language and oh, mom, no, I, I didn't know. I don't know. Ow. Ow. Ow, mom. Ow, ma, ma, stop it! Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, mama. You're allowed to watch this. I'm just, I just want to hit you, okay? What? Holy oh, God! Oh, what? Ah. And also, there was this. Parents strongly cautioned: the following programs are intended for mature audiences over the age of 18. These programs may contain some materials that many parents would not find suitable for children. The programs may contain intense violence, sexual situations, coarse language, and suggestive dialogue. And so then they have play. Uh, mom, 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 no, I'm sorry, mom. Mom. So, I mean, basically, that was it. And, uh, yeah. So mom would let me watch that. Got to fix my mic now. Mom would let me watch that, and it was it was really really cool, and it brought me to the world of anime of all things, man. So before Adult Swim, like the anime I would watch was on uh, Toonami or like um, WB Kids, like Yu Gi Oh. If you call, if you count that as anime and Battle Network as well, Mega Man Battle Network. So, with that said, I mean, this was a huge thing because, secondly, secondly, okay, a lot of a lot of kids like had their like thing they watched on the weekend late at night, and it was usually like Disney or Nick at Night, <coughs> and then the cool kids, <coughs> the cool kids would watch Adult Swim or South Park. On Comedy Central, which I wasn't really a big fan of the first few seasons. It was, like, kind of gross, but it was still lit. <sighs> it was still pretty good. But, yeah, so I remember going to school the next day, and I'm like, yo, Sam, because Sam um, was, like, my only friend in school. Sam was awesome, and I still talk to him to this day. shout out to Sam. How's it going, Sam? How you doing? Remember when I told you about this? I was like, hey, Sam, so I, a crazy thing happened. I don't know what it was, but, like, Cartoon Network had this, like, thing called Adult Swim, and he cuts me off. He cuts me off. He, he covers my mouth, and he's like, Adult Swim is for adults. And he stared at me in the eyes. And then Mom came in from the cafeteria for whatever reasons. This started hitting me. <laughs> God, Mom, I'm sorry. Sam, why you hit me? Ma, I thought you said it was okay, Ma. <laughs> oh, God. And, uh... <clears throat> anyway, um... After big tears, big tears out of my face, as Bill Purr would say, I ended up going... On that, uh... Going... I ended up watching it that weekend. And... My, uh, my parents had a thing where they would, like, rent a movie or something on the weekend or, like, buy a movie, and then they would watch that. And so, like, Friday and Saturday, I would be up in their bedroom because that's where the other TV was. There was one down in the basement as well, and we'd get 
to that one, but for now, I only watched it on um, their TV. And mom was like cool about it. Like basically, the rule was if I start acting up, then I can't watch it. You know how kids are like they like to reenact things they see on TV and stuff like that. So as long as I wasn't doing that, then good. Enjoy. You know, they never uh, beat me with the spoon. But yeah, they're actually pretty. My parents are chill like that. They're cool. So um, yeah, I remember getting uncomfortable and then it showed up again. I'm like, oh, there it is. There it is. And Adult Swim would show up and all kids out of the pool, they would have like a bunch of old people swimming and it'd be like, you know, all like the vibe was unique in itself. Unique. And I guess, I mean, every weekend, that's what I did if I wasn't sleeping over at Sam's house. You know, I'd go over at Sam's house. We didn't watch that. I don't think I've ever watched Adult Swim with Sam. I might have. But, like, literally, like, when he said, Adult Swim is for adults, I guess he was, I guess, I guess, um, I guess he stood, stood at his ground all these years. I, mean, I, I need to tell him, like, dude, we're adults now. But, like, I know what's going to happen. He's going to cover my mouth and said, he will say, not like you. Not adults like you. You can't watch this. Don't ever do it again. I'll tell your mom and then she will come in with a spoon. That's what he would do. I know that's what he would do. He's a very angry man. He has a lot of anger. He doesn't know what to do with all of it. And I just take it. I just, I just take it. <laughs> mm. So, summer break comes. And I'm in my basement. My room is upstairs, but I grabbed all my stuff, like all my blankets, pillows, and um, I would sleep down there basically all through the summer. I had a TV down there so I could play my video games. I had a cable. It was an old TV. It had those knobs, and you only had like 14 or 16 channels, and my dad had to program it to go in the higher digits to get to channel 62, 63, 64. And all that stuff. So, thank you, Dad, for doing that. That made my summer. And so, and I, I would either be playing like SimCity or Doom on Super Nintendo or Mega Man X or Pilot Wings. Thanks to my friend Brad. Shout outs to him. Rest his soul. And his brother, too, um, Matt. Two of my friends passed away and they were brothers. Really hard. And then I, you know, then. Um, the reason why I remember 1999, 2000 is because in 2001, not only did 9-11 happen, but also my buddy Brad passed away. Matt passed away, like, when I was, like, in my early 20s. But, um, my buddy Robert passed away from an asthma attack as well. And I know that's some heavy stuff, but that's why I remember this so well, because it was prior before all of that happened. And within, like, a week span or like a month span it was really 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 rough in third grade but it's also one of my favorite favorite school years as well so um fourth grade comes around and i make this new friend uh matthew stone and matthew to this day same same with like sam and a bunch of other my friends like they're like my best friends i've known them for so long dude and Matthew, uh, he was down to watch Adult Swim at night. And, you know, like we would, we had a big couch and we were tiny as well. So, like, he would be on the other side of the couch and I would be on the opposite side and we'll, we'll be like laying in bed and the sleeping bag or whatever, pillows and stuff, unwinding and just watching Futurama, Family Guy, and then in Yohasha. And by that point, we were probably asleep, but sometimes I'm up even longer than that. But I still remember vividly of the days where, you know, I'm watching Yu Yu Hakusho and I'm really, really into it. And I really want to reenact the things in these shows, but I told myself, don't, you know, I just wanted to play pretend and stuff like that, which I did with my friends who liked doing that. Matthew wasn't into that, but... 
um, I would go over his house, and that would be on on his TV all night, and I would fall asleep and wake up and do it all over again. The next time I slept over, or next time he slept over, or when I'm by myself, you know, and it was a really cool time. Matthew's house was cool. We would watch like horror movies and stuff like that. Like his dad would rent Nightmare on Elm Street four, or I think he rented like all of them at one point, like the first three or something like that we did child's play as well which was cool um on his birthday sam did not like child's play sam went home sam did not have a good time he said those are for adults <laughs> he didn't actually ever say that by the way he never said that <laughs> it was i think i think what he said was possibly something on the lines of like yeah man it's uh cool so i'm making him out to be um this unstable person but it's actually me that's unstable <clears throat> so i got older and i got into more anime and i started to go over my buddy's house scott and he had anime stuff he had a lot of drama z stuff and man it just became my life anime in general and i'm not gonna go and diss like the other cartoons i mean you had um, Octo Team Hunger Force, you had Metal Ocalypse, um, Home Movies, which I think I mentioned. Um, you had Family Guy, you had Futurama. And uh, I remember my buddy James as well, he would watch it too, but only to watch like Futurama. I think, I think we didn't watch anything else. He just loved Futurama. <sighs> so, anyway. That's my story about, like, Adult Swim. Like, it just became, like, a thing in my life that I just, to this day, appreciate. And I want to thank Adult Swim for just doing it. Um, and it's still a great channel. A lot of you probably found out about Adult Swim, you know, with uh, the streaming services we have and stuff like Hulu and, and all that, but or Max. But back then, you had to stumble across that kind of stuff. And you're really, really lucky if you did. Anyway, that's it. Take care, my dudes. Oh, and I would love to hear your first experience with Adult Swim. How did you find out about it? What was your favorite show? What was the thing you liked most about it? All right, later.